Jeru, Jeru, Jeru. He hopped on his bike and took a strike, then put Atletico's head on a pipe. Ooh, Chelsea versus Atletico Madrid just ended 1-0 in favor of Chelsea after a 68th minute goal by Olivier Giroud on a little bicycle kick. It was absolutely beautiful. Honestly, look, watch the game. Atletico Madrid, they've been playing very poorly of late. They've been losing a lot of La Liga matches, and now they've just lost the first leg of the round of 16 in Champions League after having a blistering start to the season. I... I think it's because they're too defensive of a team. And uh, even like the uh, they had a very aggressive lineup that ended up playing defensively. I don't know why that is. Um, I don't believe I don't believe it's good for a coach to stay at a team for 10 years like Simeone has. I think they need some fresh some fresh blood, you know? They're just too much of a defensive team and it's all all the time. They just can't. They can't do anything. But on the other side, Chelsea, though, ever since they sacked Lampard and got Thomas Tuchel, have been an absolutely great team to watch. They've been winning matches. They're now fifth in on the standings in the Premier League. And they just their lineups have just been able to produce. I know, I know. Okay, let me let me get this off my chest. The Giroud goal was scored on a technicality. The game really should have ended 0-0 because no team scored. However, it did bounce off the Atletico player after he kicked it, so that's why it was considered a goal, although they did have to do a VAR check to determine it. Um, yeah, it was it was kind of a, we a nonsensical goal, but I truly believe Chelsea deserved the win no matter what, just because they played so much better than Atletico Madrid. And I, I just don't know. I think Atletico Madrid, like I said earlier, need to – they just need to – it doesn't even feel right to say they need to get rid of Diego Simeone because they, they're a good team. They've always been a good team, but they've become too defensive. And that's Simeone's game plan is a very defensive oriented one. If you can't score goals, you can't win. It's a, Listen, they held them to one goal, but you scored zero. You need to be able to produce. They just don't have the quality to, in attacking positions like they do defensively. I, I never was a fan of the whole park the bus mentality. We'll just extremely counterattack and that's it. I don't really think that's conducive of a winning mindset. It is, oh, we'll stay back, stay back, stay back, and then take a chance or two and try to execute on that. It doesn't make sense to me. I think you should try to score as much as you can. Uh, but that That's just my mentality on it. Atletico Madrid has been a struggling team of late. Chelsea has been seething hot. Absolutely great by Chelsea. On the other side, we had Bayern Munich versus Lazio, and Bayern Munich still playing like the best team in the world, scoring four goals um, while only conceding one to Lazio. I think right now Bayern Munich's my favorite to win the Champions League because they're just an absolutely dominating team. Absolutely incredible. Bayern PSG is my prediction for the final. Is it if that's possible? I believe it's possible, but I just don't know how the table like lines up. But I feel like Bayern Munich and PSG are destined to meet each other, whether it be in the final or earlier. Um, yeah, Bayern, Bayern's ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. But that's pretty much it for the Champions League today. Uh, that's all that happened. Chelsea pulls out a win, 1-0. At Atletico, by the way. So that they did get a crucial road goal. And Bayern Munich wins 4-1. They're probably going to score another 3 or 4 in the second leg. If they get upset by Lazio, that would be insane. But that's been the Champions League. It's been your boy Bombs. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. See ya.